doing it's saying hope y'all doing well hope y'all are healthy we have some interesting news today with bethesda that's right apparently there's a remaster in the works that was unknowingly leaked in the QuakeCon schedule so it sounds like this one's gonna be a big one before we continue if you like game news game streams and a chill place to watch them go ahead and leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell i'd really appreciate it apparently xbox era found a leak in the QuakeCon 2021 schedule and it was quickly removed afterward for those of you who don't know what QuakeCon is it's this event that basically showcases bethesda's games in a less mainstream manner so whatever you don't see in e3 or something like that you just end up seeing at QuakeCon. and for those of you who don't know what quake is the quake games were first person shooters created by id software Let's take into account that the first one came out June 22nd of 1996. So you could say that this franchise is pretty dated. However, this does not detract from the fact that it was popular and successful enough to have three titles and a dedicated event to it. So with this explanation out of the way, let's get back to the stone cold facts. So what y'all are seeing right now is basically the Quake schedule leak. And it reads the following. Quake is back in this special stream. John Lindman from Digital Foundry talks to Jerk Goose. Jesus, what is with these people's names? This person of Machine Games about the title's iconic legacy and what it meant to both of them. The pair will also discuss the additional content Machine Games have contributed to this revitalized edition. So as it's probably pretty pretty obvious a revitalized edition goes with the remaster i'm gonna be really honest with you guys quake really doesn't excite me i mean i get maybe fallout or skyrim and i think that would have been a little smarter because those are games that i think have a larger fan base but hey quake i'm pretty sure there's a lot of quake fans out there just waiting for their remaster just ugh, it's just itching quake is fine you know quake is it's a shooter that's that's cool i'm interested to see what bethesda will end up doing with this because tom howard ironically two years ago said something completely different he literally said that he preferred that these experiences these older experiences like morrowind were lived in their original form because apparently that's kind of like part of the game's identity with the guardian he actually said i'm happy that you can play the elder scrolls 3 morrowind now on an xbox one as it's backwards compatible i'm really happy that microsoft sony nintendo and others are making it easier for people to play older games as they were played at the time i actually prefer that over remasters i'd rather you play morrowind the way it was i think the age is part of its identity for skyrim remastered we had done some work on it but it was already pretty visually close but for something like morrowind my personal preference is not to remaster it we also get asked a lot to remaster fallout 1 and i usually say if you have a pc you can play fallout the way it was i think that's how it should be of course this was back in 2018 a lot of things have happened since then including obviously bethesda's acquisition by microsoft even though tom howard at the time wasn't really thinking about remasters i can see why the microsoft acquisition would probably affect that stance there's been a lot of remasters and remakes being made in recent years you know we have final fantasy 7 remake we have spyro reignited trilogy crash insane trilogy we have crash nitro fueled we have what the mass effect legendary edition remaster we have call of duty modern warfare remaster like there's there's a market for that right and people are excited to play these classic games again and it's a way to bring more popularity to that franchise to maybe open the door to make another one what happened with crash the insane trilogy it was a remake of the original crash trilogy they made a crash 4 and that game is really really fun so to me this is kind of like bringing back popularity to certain franchises that may not have been so popular so i know modern warfare and obviously mass effect they don't need more popularity but they were kind of like dug underground for a while so you know it just kind of brings the love back to certain franchises so i think that's what they're trying to do here maybe they're trying to set you up for a new quake you know to see maybe how the public's reaction is to it see if maybe they're you know there's something interesting there you know maybe some gold to mine but I, that's just that's just my guess to be honest 
I don't really care much for Quake, but uh, maybe it's a fun experience. You know, don't don't knock until you try it, right? I mean, it's not like Microsoft has not done these remasters before, like the Master Chief Collection. But I don't know. I don't know. You know, I I hope, I I plead that, <laughs> that this is actually going to be a good thing and not a waste of resources because I honestly would have preferred to see like an Oblivion remaster or. Hell, even New Vegas, Rema anything really, but not Quake. But hey, may hey, if you're a fan of Quake, that's that's great. Good for you. This is awesome news for you. <laughs> Just so you guys can kind of like get yourselves a little little wet with the idea of this remaster. The Steam description of the original game is Rage through 32 single player levels and 6 deathmatch levels of sheer terror and fully immersive sound and lighting. Arm yourself against the cannibalistic ogre, fiendish vor, an indestructible shambler using lethal nails, fierce thunderbolts, and abominable rocket and grenade launchers. And they're also going to be talking about some stuff from Elder Scrolls Online. You could just look that up anywhere honestly that's not the big news here the big news is that bethesda is putting money into a franchise that i feel a lot of people don't know but that may be a good thing because it'll just bring it back in a new light so hey maybe maybe we end up liking it what do you guys think were you expecting something different are you interested in playing quake did you play quake originally back in 96 or are you maybe someone who this just sounds like it's up their alley were you expecting something different hey were you expecting bethesda to remaster a more popular and maybe your favorite game you know in either elder scrolls or fallout you know there's a lot of things that i feel are interesting to talk about here so leave your comments down below please go ahead and just chat that shit out leave a like subscribe hit that notification bell i upload videos every single week about tech or gaming remember to follow me on instagram twitter and twitch at saint wolven as well as join the pack on discord thank you for watching my dudes and i hope you have a good week bye, -bye.